Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Today, I want to tell you how you can enable double subtitles on YouTube to learn Spanish on YouTube for free. My name is Franklin, and this is FirstThousandHours.com. And so we're going to go right into this tutorial. I'm going to show you my screen, and then I'm going to show you here is, um, actually, I want to go right here. This is where you can get the Google Chrome web extension for um, for dual sub. And this is what an allows you to enable double subtitles. And all you have to do is you just have to click up here um, and, and, it, and it says um, at this blue box, add to Chrome. Now I've already added it, so I don't need to do that again. And then you just need to follow the instructions. So I just wanna point this out here on this page for um, dual sub and it says this it says first you need to switch to youtube new look if you are still not enabled go to youtube.com slash new now this is what kind of trips up people sometimes because they don't go to youtube.com slash new so just make sure that you do that all right and so i'm going to go ahead and do that i'm going to go to youtube.com slash new and and then i'm going to search for uh, a video that i want to show you in spanish i actually want to show you a different video than my own but i don't want to mess up with any copyright violations or anything like that so i'm going to show you um, the first cooking video i did in spanish on another channel that i have called opensourcevegan.com or opensourcevegan.com and yeah okay i'm live all right so here i go i'm going to type i'm going to search for that real quick okay so I just had this kind of crazy title and there it is uh, so now I'm just going to play this a little bit let's play this from the beginning and you'll hear me speak in Spanish make sure my volumes up okay it is so just bear with it it just needs to load just a little bit and then and then we'll be able to play this video um, Millions de personas del mundo gustan mis videos de waffles y sopa. Esa receta son muy, 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 muy facil. Okay, so, Pero, so I'm just going to stop that, and then it's like, okay, where's the double subtitles? That's, that's what you might be thinking. Um, and so, again, you have to make sure that you go to youtube.com slash new. I, I know I've told people about the double subtitles before, and they didn't do that step. So um, the first thing you need to do uh, is also you need to go to this uh, button right here closed captioning make sure that's turned on all right and so if you've enabled double subtitles okay um, I'm sorry if you've enabled dual sub if you've gotten that through the Google Chrome WebEx I mean if you've gotten that through Google Chrome um, let's see what happens here son solamente en inglés pero hoy en día yo quiero okay, you can, hacer you can still that even though we enable um, the closed captioning there's still not double subtitles so what we need to do is go down at the bottom here below the title and you'll see that um, the double the dual sub is off so uh, first of all we need to select the language that we want and let's say I want to select English okay for the for one of the languages and now I can change um, one of the subtitle files to anything I want basically a 104 different languages this is totally amazing okay so um, I'm going to just choose Spanish because that's what we're talking about right Spanish so I will go over here and find out Spanish okay and there it is so I'm gonna click that and so now I'm going to click play they waffles y sopa and todo espanol Okay, now you can see right here, this is pretty awesome. Um, it's, it's showing me the English as well as it's showing me the Spanish. And so that is simply how you can enable double subtitles. So this allows you to use an extension for free to be able to, I believe, get to a very high level in Spanish um, because you'll be able to um, have comprehensible input basically from day one um, and so there's no excuse to say, uh, you know, you can't say I can't go on YouTube and watch a video that was created for native Spanish speakers. No, you can't say that now because you have the dual sub um, extension. OK, so this can really 
be very helpful. And if you use this dual, dual sub um, web extension, please let me know about it. All right, and I also need to tell you I have the link of this in the description below. Okay, so I want to also show you some other features that can also enhance your experience. And so I'm just gonna show you this little PowerPoint right here. Um, let me go ahead and turn that on. Okay, so uh, this is important to remember. If you're using a YouTube video, especially if you're trying to learn a language for like, you're on like the first day and you're looking at something in Spanish, you don't know anything of what is being said, just remember these keys. Okay, so one of the keys is if you want to go back five seconds, you can click the left arrow key. If you want to go back 10 seconds, you click the J key. If you want to go forward five seconds, you click the right arrow. And if you want to go forward 10 seconds, you click the L key. So I'm going to demonstrate that with my video, okay? So I will start by doing the left arrow. So let me just go ahead and play this video a little bit and we'll see how that works. Ese es Franklin con open source en todo español. Ese es Franklin. So, in my opinion, I think that the left arrow key is really helpful because I, I remember when I was trying to look at a video in German, I didn't understand what the person was saying. So, um, it was a lot for me to try to comprehend um, if I went back further than five seconds. So, if I did just five seconds, then it was easier for me to connect the dots with different words and look at the English and compare that with the German. Um, obviously, I have a familiarity with Spanish. So, I it's not it's not difficult for me to understand and i was the one speaking in this video so of course i know what i was saying right um but let me show you how um it looks if we do 10 seconds going back if i click the j key on open so that's the j key now i don't know why um, you would want to go forward five seconds, but if you did, um, then you can go ahead and click the right arrow key. So I'll go ahead and click that. Pero, the video de waffles y sopa en so todo el again video. as well. Open source. Vegan. Okay, so I guess here's an illustration. Let's say if I want to just skip that, um, skip the whole logo introduction and just keep on going with the video, then that's when I would probably want to click the right arrow key. And then if I wanted to go forward um, 10 seconds, let's see, what do I need to click? I need to click the L key. So let me go ahead and click that. Click, click play. Una cucharadita de sal. So I can go faster in the video. Okay. All right, so I'm not saying anything here. Maybe I want to go forward 10 seconds. This there we go. Necesito. Okay, so um, that is what I wanted to show you. Um, I think that this is a very powerful tool. You don't have to be limited to looking at these little beginner videos where people speak slow in Spanish and all of that stuff. You can start with native level material um, from day one using this extension. I believe it's awesome. And I think that there are other things to talk about as well. And um, there's mentalities to have when you're starting to learn a language um, and you just can't comprehend everything. Um, and so I'm gonna put up here a playlist that can be very helpful to you. And also there will be also a video that YouTube recommends that you watch as well. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next video.